And good evening, everyone, and welcome to uh, today's study session for the Crestwood School District Board of Education here in uh, Dearborn Heights, Michigan, Monday, March 8th, 2021. Uh, I will call this meeting to order at 536 and ask for Madam Secretary to take roll. Mrs. Berry? Here. Mrs. Elzayat? Here. Mrs. Fawaz? Here. Mr. Garcia? Here. Lisa, Ms. Kaminsky? Here. And Mr. Saboff? Here. Okay, Mr. Chair, you have a quorum? All right, thank you. And for the record, I know Mr. Sabo, we hope that you're feeling better. Thank you for the phone call this morning uh, and uh, that you're not going to be in attendance for today. So we hope that you're feeling better. Thank All you. right, with that, because it is a, sh a short study session, uh, we have some items that are here today. Uh, our business updates, our human resource updates, and the superintendent's updates. So we will go right into these updates before we go into the next portion, correct? correct. All right then. So with that, I will turn it over to our business manager, Mrs. Morgan. So I have some handouts that I'm gonna give you because um, there's four things. And while she is passing out the handouts, uh, uh, Mo and Salwa, uh, we thought that, obviously, of course, Mo, I know I got the phone call from you that you weren't gonna be here. These, this, is, this is information that is being provided to us regarding um, uh, the business update. You will get this probably tomorrow morning. Could we get this or tomorrow? Or it'll definitely be in my Friday update, attached to my Friday update. Friday update, yep. so it'll be information, so if you can follow along with us, and then you'll have this at least by Friday during the update. So we'll, this is all just we'll discussionary. Have, we'll have it for time. them tomorrow. Okay, oh, but for you. discussion. Yeah, for, but we'll have it for them tomorrow. Not, they won't have to wait till Friday. Okay. I'm sorry. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Some of it may, Some but I wanted may. to go over a couple okay. things. Yep, I wanted to I'm discuss a few things. Yeah, but not all of it, yeah, so that's... So the first item in the packet is a request for a bid for architectural services for engineering. I wanted to give you the format, and this is the format that all of our bids will be in moving forward. Um, we do have several bids that we are putting out in the next near future. We do have bleacher bid, and we have gate bid coming out, and we also have a camera bid that'll be coming out soon. So this is the format they'll be in. Typically, we'll have a pre-bid meeting that goes before um, so that the vendors can ask questions, they can look at, we can do walkthroughs if need be, and different things of that aspect. And Penny, if you could, just so everyone's aware, uh, especially since they're not here atten in, in attendance, the bleachers for the high school, Correct. and then the camera system is, I believe, on the elementary level. I so, believe so, yes. Yeah, so this I'm would have been in your Friday updates, Mo and Salwa, so you would have, you would have, so it, at some point, I mentioned those, yeah, but yeah. not not, yeah, not this information because I've not gotten not out this yet. information. The updates would have been. Thank you. Correct. Um, with the architectural bid, we did have a pre-bid meeting last Wednesday, and there were eight companies that were on the call, um, just asking various questions regarding what were the plan is. What we wanted to do was a very generic proposal to get the architects in line, so that when we do have some renovations going on relatively soon, hopefully, then they'll be in place and ready for that. Um, that bid closes on March 16th, so we'll have a bid opening for that on March 16th, and the information will be presented to the board on the 22nd um, and shared, but we won't need to vote until we're ready to hire the architect. The other item that we wanted to discuss is the technology E-rate. Um, technology department and David, if I miss something, please help me out. Um, the technology part worked with Wayne Risa to, and our E-rate company to put out a bid for services. What went out to bid was wireless services, firewall services, network electronics, um, smart network, and UPS units, which are UPS, I'm sorry, I forgot that code. So uninterrupted power supplies. So the items came back and for the sheet that's handed out is the summary of all the companies that voted on each of the sections. So in the wireless section, we had three companies vote on what we needed, Delta, Intercomp, and Vector. For the firewall, we had two companies vote on what we needed, which was Delta and Intercomp. Our network services, network electronics, was Intercomp that voted, or bid on it, I said voted, sorry, bid on it. SmartNet, we did not have anyone bid on that at the moment. And UPS, we had Delta and Intercomp and Vector. 
So the recommendation that we are going to present to the board on the 22nd is what's in red. Um, as you can see for Delta Wireless, they were the inexpensive and they portion and they enhance what we currently have. So our AP access networks, access points in the rooms do not have to be replaced for three years, which they're relatively newer, so that's a good thing. So then the Delta would service our access points for the next three years. With the firewall data, the reason that we want to increase our firewall is because the, the amount of access that Wayne Risa allows us to have has gone up. The current firewall system limits our access and our internet connectivity, and so therefore, by increasing our firewall, we'll have more options and a wider spread um, of network. Um, um, Mr. If I could. Um, I heard Sue first, but as oh, I go, I think then Nadia. So Sue, go ahead. Never mind. I just found it. I was looking for what page you were on. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Okay, uh, Nadia. Didn't I, um, wasn't this part of the grant? The, I'm sorry. Yeah, the, this is part of E-rate. The bond? No, this didn't is part we, of E-rate. I think this was before you guys came. Didn't they do updates on that? Uh, we did the, uh, the fiber. The fiber, okay, the fiber. okay. That okay. That's, okay. Right. So they can support double the speed on our Okay. Can I ask a technical question then? Uh -huh. And I, I don't mean to take away from what you're doing here. Um, I think that's always been a, an issue with the district is, is that we seem to somehow fall behind what RISA requires. Um, is there, what would it take for, technology is, is something that if you're behind the eight ball, it's so hard to catch up. Um, is that is that something that the district or administration should be looking at in the future? And I hate to put you on the spot on that. Well, and part of this is what they're doing now. So this is catching us up to where we can have it. Because of our system being older at the time and the firewall being older, this will upgrade our firewall and get us to where we need to be for so, future changes. Okay. So RISA then does provide to you what their plans are for the future so that whatever changes need to be done, we can be yes. on board with them. So yes. now we're getting on board with them moving forward with this. Correct, yes. Okay, thank and you. And along with David and Joanne, and I, I'm hoping, I didn't speak to the rest of them, but the rest of the technology department, uh, they went through this with Risa. So then we had um, a conference call where we, they went through it with me and explained it to me as well. Um, so then the network electronics, only in account bid, and but that it's, those are the ones that have our similar switches, so they're the only ones that bid on that, and that's okay. Um, with the UPS units, we are recommend, going to recommend that we go with Anacomp. They're slightly higher cost, but they're units that we currently have with the rest of our switches, and so we know they'll be compatible, and then we know they'll work for the remainder of the three years that we need them for. Is that correct, David? Okay. Mr. Chair, if I may. Yes, Dr. Uh, Penny or um, David, can you explain to everyone or the public what is UPS, what are the switches, so that people understand what it, the jargon that we're okay. actually using so that they know what we're putting our money into. David, I'll let you explain. All right, so the UPS is, that's just, it's a battery, it's a backup battery. So if you lose power, um, that'll keep the equipment on for a short amount of time and make it a controlled situation rather than power goes down everything goes out and then it takes a half hour for everything to come back on um, and some of those batteries are older so we just need to periodically replace those um, the network the firewall part that we're talking about it controls our connection our internet connection from the county so they're capable of giving us a higher speed connection at the same price that we're paying now for that service but our equipment needs to be updated to handle that. And what was the third thing? Uh, what are switches? switches? The switches. Yeah, the switches are, uh, it's the same situation where we're upgrading those switches to handle the network that we have. And you were asking about being behind. This is just being proactive on their part. If I could. <laughs> so we're finally going to be David. with the time. David. Yeah, well, a, a, a question I have is, and I know that I mentioned this at, at one of our meetings that we had with mm -hmm. the subcommittee, is um, so with the switches and with, with specifically the batteries, so are there preventative maintenance programs that are, are in place or will be in place so that, because right now we're upgrading. 
Mm -hmm. So we're, we're, we're replacing all of the old with new, but how... We will be working on a replacement plan and a schedule for equipment replacement. I, okay, because I think that's just important be for the community in knowing that we're not just going out and buying $100,000 sure. worth of batteries, that we have a, a, a plan in place so that they can continuously be upgraded and, and changed as we move forward. Correct. With okay. so many things that are new right now, we're going to be in the next year getting a list together and organizing it to get a replacement plan in place. All right. Thank you. And I will say to the board and the community, part of that replacement plan is also going to be a detailed budget allotment where you'll see that we're going to be setting aside funds for X number of years for part of the replacement plan with an estimated cost of replacement over the years so that we don't you know, come to the board or the community last minute and say, we need X number of dollars to update. You know, So we'll have hopefully a plan in place with the monies available once we also see what our final budget allotments are gonna be with this new stimulus package and so on and so forth. Okay, thank you, Doc. We've been very fortunate to be able to buy all the Chromebooks and everything, so those are all brand new. Right. And so that replacement plan um, will be a couple of years out. But the other desktops and the other equipment we're gonna be working on. Sounds good, thank you. You're welcome. Mr. Chair? Uh, yes, uh, Mo? I just have a question on, on the bid. Pro I got the bid process on the tech department issues. Uh, the bid process for the bleachers, the gate, the camera system, and the architect. Um, you said some of them are out and some of them are not. Is that what I heard? The only one that is out right now is the architect bid. I'm working so on putting the scope of the work together for the rest of them. All right. Have any of the architects or any of the installers for any of the other three, has anybody had a, a pre-look at anything yet? What do you mean the other three for the bleachers? The bleachers, the gate and the camera, the need installation. Have any other um, contractors been able to walk through and see what's missing and what needs to be there done? There has yet? been a company for the bleachers come through because I needed to get an estimate of a cost of what it would replace before I could put it out to bid. So I wanted in my mindset what the cost of replacing, if it needed to be completely replaced, would be. Other than that, no, we have not had people come out and look at things and give estimates for anything. Okay. Should we get a second estimate just to let the industry know that we may be doing that, just to be safe? And... Oh, yeah, we're getting a bid. We'll, we'll, be getting a bid yeah. we'll be getting a bid for it. Yeah, I understand that, Nadia. But last time we, we I asked that question, I was told there's a tight window of two weeks from the time the bid goes out to the time the bid has to be completed. Is that correct? It's typically two to three weeks, yes. Okay. With the, with the leisure one, it'll be slightly longer because of spring break. I'm sorry, with which one? With the bleacher one, when it goes out, it'll be okay. slightly longer because the return time will be after spring break instead of right before. Okay. I just wanted to make sure, just so we have more bids this time than the mm -hmm. last time. And so they, they know when that two-week process is, and at least they've got an idea of what, what they're looking to do, too. Yes. And the, what, oh, I'm sorry. If I may just add to uh, Trustee Sable, if we don't get enough bids, we'll put it out the bid again. And Thank we'll you. get more people to come through because the more bids we get, the better because then we can see the competitive pricing. And then we can ensure that, because a lot of times what we do, like especially with athletic materials, a lot of times what will happen is we will talk with all the athletic directors across our, our league. And you know they'll, they'll, they'll say what companies they've used and what companies they've had the best success with. So we're Perfect. going to make sure that we have multiple bids and ensure that we get the best competitive pricing. That's all I was asking for. Thank you, Doctor. Me, You're welcome. Um, there was a question yeah. here. I, I get two. You want me to ask one? Well, I just wanted to know which bleachers are we talking about? The exactly. high school bleachers. The high school ones bleachers? that are there currently. Are we? What are we the, doing? It, the, the, VART, the, the indoor basketball visiting side bleachers have been busted for a couple of years okay. and have not been accessible. And okay. the home side bleachers are not very and very good either. They're having starting to have um, issues. So well, just so there's a clarification, because that's where they, people get. Right. So is it the we're talking about the home team is usually the ones that are on the um, on the north side behind the home team, and then you have the visitors behind, um, and they're on the north side as well. And then you also have the south side bleachers there. We're looking at both sides. Okay, okay. so all bleachers. And what about where the visiting side is on the football field? There's nothing well, there anymore. Well, this is just internal for right now. Correct? Right, yeah. yeah. Right now we're just looking at the indoor facility. This is all indoors. Yeah. We can't do nothing else then? That it? So the, the, the outdoor facility piece is on hold right now um, because we're looking at what's in an immediate need. 
Um, and right now with spring indoors things, that's an immediate need. The outdoor facilities is something that we're gonna come back to the board with in a short, short amount of time. Did you have any other questions so far? Okay. The next packet of paper um, is a contract regarding direct energy. Currently, our electrical energy is through consolidation, through um, a co-op basically, where we get cheaper prices because the school districts bump, um, join together so they can buy quantities. Um, currently, we have the Detroit, through Detroit DTE with um, several of our schools and we have that contract that goes through 2025 and that contract um, let me find the rate because I just saw it is 5.5 cents per kilowatt per hour currently the new contract that they want to extend it to is they want to extend it one more year to 5.85 cents per kilowatt per hour um, because the current rate is 6.11 cents per kilowatt so they can because we're going in with so many different school districts they can get the cheaper rate so they want to extend our current contract one more year at the cheaper price so all that information is in the direct energy for you to review um, and if you have any questions then we can go through that you can just email them to me or mr. Garcia and then we can get that all before the next board meeting because I want to take it to a vote at the next board meeting if possible so if I could Penny because I I, I did read your your your, your Friday uh, I was gonna call it Friday flyer <laughs> so my apologies that's okay but so anyways I, I, I energy for those of you that are here on the board know that I've been really big on that and when we did the first consolidation or the first updates with link uh, it was one of my my big things in regards to the LED lighting you know uh, lights on t uh, systems on timers and so on and so forth have do you know whether or not we have completely uh, eradicated all of the vapor lighting within the district the exterior lighting uh, or, or is that going to be part of uh, I believe the train? that I believe that anything that we have okay. left like that will be part Excuse of trains, me, will be upgrade. part of trains okay. upgrade because this is a good number mm -hmm. I, I, and I can't tell the board to do one thing or another but other than study your materials but the five five is, is is a great number considering what the going rate is, mm -hmm. and I mean, it's a no brainer to me. But then if if the lighting system is not all on par, you know we we will get socked with a few Correct. extras here and there. So you know the, the, I'm not of course look at your numbers, look at your contracts. But you know the, the 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 kilowatt number is big, and and if we do get into this system with all of our LE or our lights being converted. It's going to be huge savings uh, the, within the district for energy. These consortiums are similar to different areas. Um, I know in previous life we had a, a similar consortium, but just with a different company. Mm -hmm. So, yes, ma'am. Okay, my question. You said five years. Are we doing a 5.5 for one more year and then a new contract for the five? The 5.5 the goes through 2025. The 5.85 would go through may of 2026 so it'd just be one year oh one year okay. yep it's one additional year okay what they're afraid of is if we don't log into this we'd have no idea what the price will go up in the next several years okay. and so if we don't they wanted us to log in earlier and because we i didn't have enough information on this company i wasn't comfortable bringing it to the board um but because of the fact that the rates are going up and it, you can even see in your home gas and electrical prices are going up i think that it's important to look at locking in at a cheaper rate than what our current rate is for where the market rate is Any, okay all right and the last informational item that i have for you is the wayne Risa master service agreement um, each year the district works okay sorry works with Wayne Risa and they provide us services for our financial software they provide technology support um, they also provide security firewall information training on the software so our human resource software our financial database software in that aspect all goes through Risa so that expires every year on June 30th 
and the, this contract is just to renew it for another year. And again, I'd like you to read through that contract and then if there's any questions to email them within the next week or so so that we have all the information. They will again be in the Friday update as attachments um, and then that way questions can be asked and we can vote on it on the 22nd if the board from Mr. Allows. President. Uh, Danielle, yes. I just, is it an annual contract? It is an annual So every contract. year it's renewed mm -hmm. annually. Okay, thank you. Right. Are there any questions from any members of the board? Mr. Uh, Chair, if I may add yes, real quick. Doctor. So I'd like to add something about the technology piece. Um, the Wayne County citizens voted to uh, uh, ex ex continue the Wayne County Enhancement Millage in 2020. Mm -hmm. So for that reason is why we're able to make these upgrades through Rain Risa, through that through that enhancement millage. Thank you. I didn't even think about that, so thank you. Yeah, because a lot of this would have fell back onto a lot of the district's books, but because of the enhancement millage, we were able to do such things. Great. So I want to thank the community for, well, the entire Wayne County community for passing that uh, Wayne County enhancement millage extension, which is helping us make these upgrades. Mm -hmm. All right. So seeing no other, no one out, okay. No questions, no concerns. So again, just make sure you take a look and read all of your information because there is a there's a lot between Friday and today. So, is there anything else? That's all that I have. Thank you for your time. Thank you. All right. So with that, we will now hear from our human resources department, and that is Dr. Lazar. Good evening. Well, mine is quick and short. We're just um, <laughs> chugging along. Uh, I think you know, working on getting everybody uh, situated and, and back in the buildings and working with our um, school health software to get those screeners going and putting together a presentation that will walk parents through setting up their accounts so that we'll be ready to have the kids screening when they come back. But um, other than that, just um, a lot of COVID management in the past week. Sounds good. Did you say COVID management? Management, yeah. No. Oh, no. Oh. Not, not, no, 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 no. You're thinking something, something bad. Yeah, you're thinking something bad. Sorry, I apologize. It's COVID, management. COVID related, just, you know. Just the management. Yeah. Just another layer in our preparation of, in planning. That's cheers. It. Cheers. <laughs> cheers. Cheers. All right. Mr. Thank you, Mr. Dr. Mr. Chair, if I may add to what yes. Dr. Lazar mentioned, um, I do want to, because it's an HR related thing, I want to thank the all of the unions in the Crestwood School District. Uh, they have been extremely uh, collaborative and understanding in our conversations. And I really believe that with the board's support, um, as well as the fact that we're all in this together, that people are understanding that this is a team approach. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna continue doing what's best for kids, but fair for our staff at the same time. So I want to just send a thank you to all of the union heads, all of the executive boards, as well as all the union membership. And I use the term union because so many times people think that there's conflict between administration and union. There is no conflict. Do we have disagreements? 100%. That's normal. That's part of collaboration. Even us as a team, we don't always agree. Right. But we always agree to find a solution. Mm -hmm. So I want to I wanna say I appreciate the progressive solution mindset of many people in our district as we move forward to enhance our community. So thank you. Thank you. Mr. Chair, can I just ask real quick? So everybody's back in the building now? Every building? Yes, that's correct. Thank you. All right. Uh, now, Doctor, you had some updates or? No, I, that's just for the uh, executive session. Okay, all right. So if there are no other questions, concerns, or comments, uh, Mo, anything from you before we go into executive session? Nothing. Thank you. Okay. Salwa, is there anything from you before we go into executive session? No, I'm all set. All right. Thank you. Okay. So for uh, the general public viewing this, uh, we are going to be moving into an executive session. We will be coming back uh, for our meeting, which will start this evening at 7 p.m. Uh, the executive session is a private session, uh, but we encourage you to tune back in at 7 p.m. for our regular board meeting. So with that, I will take a motion uh, to move into an executive session. So, so I, well, actually, oh, okay. I was looking at hands and I wait. I, see, now, 
I think that all of you are on my computer screen and you're not. So with that, because I'll be listening for voices, so I heard the motion come from Nadia uh, to move into executive sessions, Madam Secretary, with the support from uh, uh, Sue. All those in favor, signify by stating aye. 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 Okay. At 6.01. At 6.01, we will move into executive session.